Right, so I'm joined here with Zach, and uh, he's on an electric bike. You guys asked for more information about these electric bikes, so uh, we're going to give it to you. So to start off with, um, could you just let us know how much this bad boy costs? It's worth about 2,500 currently. It's been built up over about 10 years. Um, I've done over 80,000 miles on it in that time. Okay, so if you were going to build this tomorrow, how much do you reckon yeah, it would cost? Just under two grand. Just under two grand. And I can see quite a lot of um, exposed parts, and I'm not criticising that because I've seen it with a couple of other home-built ones. Is there any implications of that? Um, everything I've done is waterproof properly. The, uh, all these electronics that are here is all just to do with my lights and my phone. Oh, okay, charger, so like so this USB here. Yeah, the only wires that are actually for the um, motor and everything are here. They're all nicely tucked in and Sweet. cable tied. So and then you've all... got the battery pack you're sitting yeah. on it there. Yeah. So. Um, and what is your battery pack? Um, lithium polymer. Um, it's 1,700 watt hours, so okay. it's absolutely massive compared to most normal e-bikes. Okay, 500 watt hours. That is what I want to know a bit more about. If you could just like tell me um, just briefly, like a retail price for a budget one, and then a retail price for one which is about your standard. Uh, budget ones start at about 500 pounds from Halfords for a. And just to clarify, we're talking about the ones which are built by a manufacturer, so yeah. it's like a bike with a built-in, not yeah, like a homemade one. Yeah, it's a simple hub motor version. They they last a while, but they just don't have hydraulic brakes. They're just they're the low end of the scale, you know. Right. And um, whereas then you start getting up to like 1,200 mark, where they're starting, you're starting to get a little bit better, better components. You run mid drive, which is like Bosch systems, and then you get up to like 2,000 plus, which is where you're getting decent sized batteries, decent quality parts on an actual decent bike. Okay, and what type of um, mileage, speeds? Um... Um, speeds you're restricted in this country to 15.5 by our law, and EU law says 25 kilometers an hour plus or minus 10%. And if you if this, this bad boy wasn't restricted? Uh, 55 mile an hour. 55 mile an hour, okay. But this, that's like way, you wouldn't want to ride it. It's, okay. it's, it'll throw you off the back. Yeah, and um, how many, uh, like, I'm, like I already know this, but you can do a full shift, like a full day on yeah. this bike, yeah? I could do 80 miles on one charge. 80 miles. And that lasts you a day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sweet. And I commute over 10 miles to get here. So. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't know that. Cool. Good for you. But yeah. Uh, what else have we got to talk about? Um, I mean, how do you find it compared to... Ah, oh, I don't want you to tell me exactly. I don't want to put you in a difficult position. but So don't tell me exactly how much you're earning. But could you just give me like a ballpark figure? Um, I can do three to four drops an hour if I'm given the drops. So, if I'm doing seven days, it's over 2,000 a month. Okay, cool. So. And with the electric bike, do you find it, I mean, not everyone's going to want to do seven days, but do you find it that you can do seven uh, days? Seven days is not a problem. The biggest problem is actually the amount of time you're sat on the seat, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've um, got padded yeah. cycling shorts. No. Oh, I always, well, I don't know nah. who's wearing. I found, to be honest, that it just... Uh, if you've actually got electric, you're not putting as much pressure down, yeah, yeah. so it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you just, and also it's the fact of keeping everything clean and changing every day. You yeah, have to have yeah. multiple sets of everything, and it's yeah, just, it's just extra cost that I don't really want to be spending. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, oh, what else can we say? Uh, what? Are, uh, I don't, I don't really know. Oh, how long does it take to charge? Uh, currently, I have a really decent charge, which costs me a lot, uh, about six hundred pound. So six hundred quid. But I can charge in thirty minutes. Charging for oh, that's pretty badass. What about the ones that you buy? How, uh, do they most just of plug them in? Eight hour charges. But do you have to buy the charges separately, or does that uh, come with a bike? Depends where you buy. If you buy a cheap eBay battery, some of them come with chargers, some don't. If you buy an actual one from shop, they'll come with a charger, which is normally a twelve hour charger. Well, that's good to know because I think that's something that I never really considered. Um, you, I think once with the shops, you can tend to you can go to the manufacturer and buy a second or third battery. So most people that I know that are doing it currently are going home mid shift swapping over their battery quick and then carrying on their shift. Right, okay. Whereas I commute quite a distance, so I have to have a bigger battery yeah, yeah, so that yeah. I can do a whole shift. That's a good point. And the last thing I want to know is something that you just mentioned before about... Um, oh, sorry, I had a low battery. <laughs> Topical. Um, you mentioned about um, the deterioration of batteries. Uh, yeah. Um, so the lithium polymer will generally get about 600 charge cycles out of it if you treat them well. Um, you've got the 18650 style batteries, which are like what's an E6 and like, all that kind of thing. They can get up to a thousand cycles out of them. But as long as you treat them well, you'll get a good lifetime and they'll pay for themselves. So. Okay, so how long how, how long are you expecting this battery uh, pack to last? About a year and a half before it deteriorates. So, although they say like 600 cycles, 
that 600 cycles is only until the battery holds 80% of its original capacity. So right. at that point, it will still hold 80% of what it originally did. It's just not as efficient as what it was in the first place. And just the battery pack, how much does that cost to replace? Uh, for me, about £1,000. £1,000. So that is, that is a big cost. So if you're going to do it, go big. Yeah, go, go big, big do the ships. Yeah. Also, the other thing as well with battery packs is if you've got a bigger battery pack and you only cycle it to like using 75%, and they always leaving 25% in it yeah. and never charging above 95%, yeah. it will last a lot longer. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So if you drain them all the way down, you'll kill them a lot easier. I didn't and know if that. you fully charge it every single day, you'll have the same problem. Okay, right, well, uh, I'm going to wrap this up because my battery on my phone is almost dead and I've got to finish my shift. Uh, but if you've got any questions for Zach, then uh, leave it below and I'll grab him. He works pretty much every day, so uh, we can get these questions answered pretty quick. Right, thank you very much for your time, Zach. Awesome. And I wanted to just add about this guy. Uh, he um, he does a bit of uh, uh, amateur electric bike mechanic stuff for a bike shop. He's got instead of using a power bank, he's got this that he said he just got from. You said you got it from a. It's part old, of an old e-bike battery. Um, it's eighteen six fifty cells. So he's he's charging his phone and running his lights off of this. That's pretty. Um, what's the word? That's the, well, that's a good bloody idea. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Sweet. Any other little tricks you got that I don't know? I love this, the little spanner. Oh, the Ch spanner. Ch chain, chain tensioner. That's pretty badass. Uh, this one's a good one. A uh, piece of tape on the front here, it stops the water spray. Totally stops it coming up on your face. I think they've got an invention for that called mud guards. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but the problem with mud guards is that they're expensive, they get broken, whereas a piece of tape's 10p. Fair enough. Well, they so, are. That's yeah, a little tip does, for you. It does the job. Fair enough. Cheers. <laughs>